Okay guys, once again Mario's tired and I am getting close to his state. But first a tidbit before I actually explain what I'm doing here in Mario 64 DS, which I can't seem to shut up about. This was a picture of bubbles inside the ship. Why nobody knows. Maybe in the DS people are offended by sunken ships. Or maybe it seemed a bit morbid to have a painting of a sunken ship, even if it's a mystical treasure ships of the pale tales of pirates and yore, even though that all stuff it still meant someone who was a, probably a pirate died and that's not fun times and but anyway yeah I figured even though I'm too tired to do tire tire talks right now um I'm not too tired to go get the cap stars that I missed in the levels up to this point it's actually kind of a confusing star to get or yeah, because most of the time when I try to do it, I do something ridiculous like that where I can't control my falling. And I run out of this before I get to the star. <laughs> and stuff like that happens, and it's wacky times, and it pisses me off how this eel just stays out after you take its star because it freaks me out. The one time I saw it, I didn't expect it, and this was the last star, and I just saw it on the way down. I was like, holy crap, what the crap is that? What is it doing out? It freaked me out. But, um, yes, I... And I have established a lot of things in this game, and a lot of things in general can upset me, especially when I was a kid. Although, I never really outgrew too many of those things. Because I am young at heart, uh, and I guess in body. Uh, but anyway, okay, I think I fell correctly this time, so I can actually control my falling, or maybe not, maybe it's just a problem with Metal Mario, I think it might be a problem with Metal Mario. Okay, seriously, that is what I would argue ridiculous. I might just have to long jump down and hope for the best. I, I really didn't recall this ever giving me any problems, except for when I thought I was gonna be able to glitch it somehow, which uh, I still think might be possible, but I certainly don't know how to do it because I haven't actually looked up anything, but uh, I was worried that this would be like a super short part because I'm just getting two easy stars that I only didn't get because I didn't have the proper caps. No! Uh, I wish it was possible to undo. just need to walk back up. No, that's possible. Oh, okay, that's kind of funny. I didn't know you could do that. But yeah, I... I'm gonna need to long jump off that boardwalk to get far enough in, I think. I haven't done this in ages. It's basically an automatic thing. I don't think about how I'm supposed to do it for efficiency. Whoops, that was a horrible... That's probably gonna come back to bite me. Shouldn't say bite around the eel, it makes me uneasy. But I am rather close. I might be able to get. Ah, uh, ha ha ha, I think. Oh, well, you guys find this kind of thing amusing, right? But I'm exasperated. I desperately want to have a few moments of sleep before I have to start waking up and editing the videos that I've recorded. And it is being robbed due to my misunderstanding of how I'm supposed to do this level. And I can say with a fair... No, that's not going to do anything for anyone. Uh, well, maybe ignoring the switch would be the way to go. Just jump across and then long jump down without troubling myself with a switch. That might be, uh, maybe it's just long jump this way. Oh, that might be it. Because that's at least going to tack a second or two onto my metal time, which is going to help greatly in the coming affair. Yes, that seems to be the... Oh, I did it, and I didn't know that it would do that. I thought it would push me up, because that's what would make sense, but I deserve that. I'm not going to have this trouble with the giant Mr. I and Big Boo's Haunt, which is the other star I had to skip, I believe. 
Oh no, Mario's still partially out of air, I guess. Oh wait. Something occurred to me. Does that really... You have to completely use it up before it respawns? Oh well. Oh, no, it isn't actually that way, huh? But, um... There's actually, if I recall correctly, there's a... There's a metal block near the starter level, which is kind of weird. And I think that might do it, because now I'm way out, and I ha didn't spend the time on that cap. Or cap, yeah, I didn't spend the time on the cap. I didn't spend the time on the switch, and I had the cap, and it clearly worked. That was horribly embarrassing. Uh, it's certainly content. Hopefully you found that amusing in some way. Uh, it's the tree level all over again. <sighs> oh well. Whoop. Okay, apparently it didn't like it me using my C-stick to move the camera like in Super Mario Sunshine. Why does it do that every time that happens? You'd think you'd, like, get used to it after a couple times. Eye to Eye in the Secret Room. Eye to Eye is actually the name of the world's best song. If at all possible, I should give this video a load of intro that just has Eye to Eye playing, except I'll probably forget, which makes me sad because that is a good song. Go look it up if you haven't heard it. It is from a goofy movie and is actually, like, a ridiculously good real song. Or not ridiculously good, but ridiculously good considering... Oh, wait, there's not invisible kick... Oh, wait, right, it's on the other side. And there's no, like, one-way transparency or anything. Okay, what was I thinking? Even if there was, it's still not gonna be much faster than going in the front door and going up to the area I'm supposed to be at. So anyway, I wasted a lot of time. Did I mention that this is scary? I mean, it makes sense that it's in a giant cage because it was in a giant cage on the ground and it's boo level. It doesn't have to make sense because it's just... I, I forget if it was supposed to be Bowser created these worlds or if I'm just mixing up the Banjo-Kazooie and Mario 64 lore. Uh, but I don't really like how it's just an infinite abyss around it. It makes it a little more creepy than a regular haunted house, quote-unquote, would be. I also don't know when you're supposed to use... Qu oh, right, you're supposed to get, like, the stupid ice cap all the way out there and then run over here. Alright, more blue coins if you don't have stuff like that happen to you. I think it's out here or something. Yep. I'm pretty sure this is the one you're supposed to use. Not sure if that was the fastest way to do it, but... I should be able to get up in time. This I remember this having a pretty tight time limit. Okay, that was going to screw me over. Because it's just a few more seconds and then it runs out. Yep. But, this should do it. For some reason, my long jumping skills get messed up because I'm- or er, wall jumping skills get messed up because I'm trying to do it quickly, and that means I don't do it carefully. And, unfortunately, careful is more important than quick in this, despite the fact that both are very important, and I'm bad at both, but... Let's- I just give up on that probably saves time to do it this way. Oh, I don't want to make this two parts. I'll speed up the failing at Dire Doc Dick Dark if I have to, even though Haunted Joe's Pirate Bay isn't a uh, Dire Dire Docks. Even though the music is called that and it occurs first in Haunted Joe's Pirate Bay. I think it's actually possible and not all that hard to jump over to that invisibility cat platform, and at this point that might be the only way to get the star before time runs out, so give it a shot. Holy crap, I was not expecting that to work. Whoops, I started that up, but I don't think that really takes from the time you get to use your cap, and it actually might have made me a little bit better because it gave me the time. Okay, this is going to be really tight except for the fact I forgot that it's 11 minutes and not 10 because I'm used to doing it 60 minutes for 6 parts now. Oh, yeah, this is a pathetic boss. But, 
getting to it is the hard part, not killing it. So, now we're at 66 stars, not nearly a wacky number like 64, but we're now done with both uh, Jolly Rigger's Lagoon and this level which is called Big Boo's Haunt, and I have never forgotten its name ever. There's a lot of boos in here. It doesn't really make sense that they just randomly are there. It makes a lot more sense they're red coins in Mario 64 DS, but yes, I will quit preaching the values of Super Mario 64 DS in a little bit. I don't think the ghost goes away after you get all the stars out of Big Boo's Haunt, which is kind of dumb, but if it does, whoops, I'm dumb, but... Oh, well, I'm going to quickly run out of time at this attitude, and my normal goodbye time takes, like, 20 seconds, so I will smell you at a later date.